Welcome to Vacuum Wars and to our review of the brand new Dyson Ball Animal 3 Upright Corded Vacuum. It's been a few years since Dyson has released a new upright, and after putting this one through all kinds of tests this week, I think that the upgrades and new features on the Ball Animal 3 were well worth the wait. So links in the description, and let's get started. First, the basics. The Dyson Ball Animal 3 comes in three different package options. The one that I bought is the base model, which comes with a crevice tool slash dusting brush and a stair tool. But they also have an extra version and a complete version, with the difference being the color and the number of attachments attachments and accessories. A few things on the Ball Animal 3 that have remained the same from previous generations include the ball design, which is part of a really accurate swivel system, which generally makes it easy to maneuver. It also has the same whole machine HEPA filtration system seen in the last few models, filtering particles down to 0.3 microns, which is just about as good as it gets in the vacuum world. It has the same super long 15-foot hose and wand design, which gives you a fairly wide range of options for for above floor cleaning and can be used with or without the wand attached. Its immediate predecessor, the Dyson Ball Animal 2, had the most raw suction I'd ever seen on an upright vacuum, and the Ball Animal 3 had almost identical suction and airflow numbers in our tests. The Ball Animal 3 did score much higher in the usable or unsealed suction test, but that was more to do with the head design, which is the real star of the show in my opinion, which I'll get to in a minute. Needless to say, these power numbers are well above average for any vacuum, and we saw that power manifested in tests like the crevice pickup test, as well as the carpet deep clean test, where we embed sand into medium pile carpet and weigh the bin before and after a set number of passes, where it got a perfect score. But the main thing that sets it apart from previous Dyson uprights is the all new cleaner head design. The first thing you may notice is the smaller cleaning path width, which I actually prefer since it gives you more options when maneuvering in tight spaces. It's also the first time Dyson has included adjustable gates on the front, at least in a US upright vacuum model, which I like because it makes it so much better for larger debris pickup on both hard floors and carpets. With the various pickup tests, I was impressed with what it could do compared to previous models. For example, it was much better with hard floor pickup, and in general, I think the new head makes it a more valuable and versatile vacuum and eliminates some deal breakers I had with the previous versions. For example, the Ball Animal Two, which had a fixed height, would get bogged down and stall out on particularly thick carpet, like the rug in my living room. But the Ball Animal 3 glides on that same carpet with no trouble at all, with the gates open. I should note that when you vacuum with gates all the way open like this, you tend to sacrifice a lot in terms of suction and airflow at the head. But interestingly, in the usable suction tests, we found that the Ball Animal 3 had the same amount of suction at the head with its gates open as the Ball Animal 2 did on its one and only set. Setting. So it was like the best of both worlds. You get a vacuum with the ability to handle larger debris while still getting top-notch carpet deep cleaning performance on that same setting. You can run it on its lowest setting where it will bog down and be very hard to push on carpets. They suggest using it this way if you have ground in dirt on low pile carpets or for hard floors only. Another big upgrade on the cleaner head is the active hair removal system, which we first saw on the V15 cordless floor head from Dyson. The idea is that it kind of combs out the hair and reduces hair tangles as you vacuum. We tested this with 7 and 14 inch human hair in separate tests, and it had virtually no tangles, which is a pretty big deal. Much better than their previous uprights, which were basically a magnet for hair. Some other upgrades include a longer cord at 35 feet, which gives you a total range of 50 feet with the hose all the way extended. The bin is sort of in between the Multi-Floor 2 and the Animal 2 in terms of size, and it has the same hygienic bin emptying design. I was a little disappointed in the weight, which is essentially the same as the Dyson Ball Animal 2, which I consider to be kind of heavy, but it is a premium vacuum designed for top tier power, so you can't really have it both ways. So who is the Dyson Ball Animal 3 for? Well, I think it's the best Dyson upright vacuum yet for hard floors, I think the person who would benefit the most from this would be someone with 50% or more carpets in their home, since its carpet performance is where it really outshines its competition. I also think it's the best Dyson yet for pet owners because of the filtration, which will keep the pet dander to an absolute minimum, and its new anti-hair tangle features. Links in the description, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.